Hello, Cancer. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 31st of July. On the very first day of August, a sensational event occurs for you. This is the arrival of Venus in your zodiac sign for a 28-day visit. When Venus comes to our own sign, it gives us a much greater sense of self-attraction. If you find yourself uh, investing in some kind of new makeover or thinking about yourself in a different way, that would be not a surprise. But also Venus forges the rest of this week in a sparkling link with Mercury. Your charisma is going to be lit up by this. It's possible over the last month that you have gone through a period of deep thought about certain relationships or one in particular. In the most extreme of cases, it is also possible, especially after last week's Venus opposition to Saturn, that one tie came to a complete close or a chapter in a relationship came to a close. Now you can turn over a new page. This is an opportunity to feel much more excited, much more self-confident about the vibe that you're generating. Now, in addition to this, the Sun continues to combine with Mars in a very sensual way. Mars, of course, is the planet of masculine uh, sex and drive and attraction. So you've got a lot of things working in your advantage in this week when it comes to just transmitting a much more positive message. Whether it's in a business situation that you're going to be more assertive or in a personal one, the combination between Mars and the Sun just gives us more ego. Now, that can actually be a, a, a negative in someone's natal horoscope if they find it very difficult to tune into the feelings of others. But I think for you, it could give you a real healthy leg up and give you a bit more um, momentum and drive towards some of your hopes, particularly if you are wanting to improve your lot financially. But there is another very uh, important aspect this week. Jupiter, the planet of growth, which is in your sector of emotions, is in a right angle to Pluto, which is in your sector of relationships. I think it's important not to take anyone for granted, not to overestimate a situation from your perspective, to try to keep checking out some of your motivations, perhaps talking to someone that you really trust and you know has got your best interests at heart. If there is a relationship issue that you're thinking carefully about, this aspect asks you to try to find the middle line between overconfidence and timidity. If you can do that, you'll be absolutely fine. But I do feel, in general, the arrival of Venus is going to be a wonderful thing because you can see a real transformation. You can feel just a lot better in yourself. Things that seemed a little bleak only a while ago can seem much more alive with possibilities. And if you're single, don't be surprised if more than one person makes a path to your door over the next month. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three-card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.